Hello Rhiannon. Your dream vacation is coming soon. Your honeymoon that you and Uriel never got to have. It's coming soon. Your 19th anniversary gift from your husband Uriel. Is coming soon, and he has been planning it for almost a year now. So pack your bags pretty lady, and get ready to go. Because in about three and a half months you're going. It's all about to begin. Your anniversary this year will start off in the early morning taking a WestJet 737 aircraft from Calgary, west over the Canadian Rocky Mountains. Hopefully it will be a clear day and you will be able to see all the magnificent mountain peaks and lakes below. It will only take 1 hour and 30 minutes of flying time, so it will go by very quick. What's even more interesting, is that going west, you go into another time zone, and even though you have traveled for one and a half hours, you only truly lost 30 minutes of your day. So are we there yet Rhiannon might ask Uriel? Nope, you've only just begun your journey. Now you're going to hop onto a coach bus line. Well where is it going she might ask Uriel. It's going south. South she might ask Uriel. Yes south to a surprise to Uriel's wife, who is from Newfoundland, but has never been on a large boat, or out on open ocean. We're going to Savasan Ferry Terminal. What's that she might ask Uriel? You'll see. You will be getting onto a large ferry ship. It has a deck with four lanes of semi-trucks, buses, and travel homes. It has two decks of parked cars. Some have a deck for small cars that lifts up after the passengers are out with hydraulics. Then there are three decks for people. You will travel out to open ocean for a bit where there will be no land in sight in any direction. If you are lucky, you might see a whale, or sometimes dolphins swimming alongside the ship. Eventually you will pass by. Galliano Island. Main Island. Provost Island. Pender Island and other islands part of the Gulf Islands. While on the big ship, it has plenty of lookout spots, comfortable chairs to rest, restaurants to grab a bite, coffee shops, stores, gift shops, arcades, and more. It's that big. Eventually you will make it to Swartz Bay Terminal on Victoria British Columbia Island. Are we there yet Rhiannon might ask Uriel? Nope time to get back on the coach bus. The bus will take us to downtown Victoria. OK now we take a transit bus for a short little ride. Are we there yet Rhiannon will ask when we get off the bus. Yes dear we are here. Welcome to your three day stay. At a Victorian 1912 bed and breakfast. Right on the cliff edge of the ocean itself. A place where we will be treated like royalty for three days. It has a famous park right next door and beaches as far as the eye can see in both directions right across the street. It has beautifully maintained landscaping, and little afternoon tea tables out front with sun umbrellas. I know it's not home, it's not Newfoundland, and I know you miss the ocean. You will have the ocean right at your door for three whole days. Surprise, and know you are loved. When they arrive, they will be greeted at the front desk. Then they will be shown around this beautiful 1912 home. Eventually they will be taken to the third floor to their bedroom where they will be staying for three nights. I did say they will be living well for those three days. There is so much more to show you. Every morning breakfast is included. We will be eating with other guests in the grand dining room on the main floor facing the ocean. We will start off with a fruit plate. Then we will be served a breakfast plate. Also there is coffee and juices to start your day. According to the reviews, the food is a 9 out of 10, and absolutely delightful. The reviews say many people keep coming back to this place many times. Always cared for and pampered by the staff. Does Rhiannon miss the ocean? Well it's literally right across the street. That's the place you will be staying in the top left. And yes that's an orca whale just off the beach. We'll be able to walk in the evenings on the beach after a long day, and enjoy the ocean evening breeze. We can watch the sunsets over the ocean together. We can meet locals walking their dogs and say hello to their furry friends. You can even go swimming if you really want. You might luck out and see a whale, a dolphin, wolves, bears, deer, or other wildlife. 
sometimes you even see bald eagles in the trees. So Rhiannon, what will you be doing for your three days in Victoria you might ask? Well you might go see Craig Derrick Castle. You might get to see the Butchert Gardens. You definitely will see the beautiful downtown and Bay Area. There is the historic Chinatown and famous Fantan Alley shopping area. There is the Royal BC Museum you are going there for sure. There's Fisherman's Wharf, with a whole floating village on the water. There's the famous Parliament buildings. You might go to Mount Douglas Park. You might get treated like a princess in a horse-drawn carriage tour of town and the Ocean Bay. You might go to Goldstream Park. If you're lucky you can go whale watching, see dolphins, orcas, humpbacks, walruses, and seals. You might go for a rainforest walk with some of the world's oldest trees, there is also waterfalls and bears fishing for salmon. You might see Thunderbird Totem Pole Park. You might see Hatley Castle. You'll also see a museum of different places of the world made up in miniatures. How much fun and excitement is there to be had? Three days of total excitement. All this can be yours Rhiannon. If the price is right. How much is all this going to cost Rhiannon will ask Uriel in a panicked state. I'll tell you says Uriel, but don't panic, and let me explain. Please hear me out to the end. This trip will cost and set us back $5,000 Canadian. That's a lot of money for us, says Rhiannon being concerned. That's why I said let me finish says Uriel. I got approved for a vacation loan just the other day, and they are letting us make several small payments over the next 42 months starting in February. So we have three and a half years to pay this off with low monthly payments we can afford. OK says Rhiannon. So when are we going? Hopefully from April 29th, to May 2nd this year. According to research, that is when the grass is the greenest, the flowers are most in bloom, everything is covered in beautiful green moss from the humidity of the ocean, and the weather is nice and not overly too hot. It's when Victoria British Columbia is at its prime. Holy crap says Rhiannon, that's just a few months away. Yes says Uriel, so you better get packing. Rhiannon sits there quietly with her jaw dropped. Then something happens. A small squee sound comes out, but nothing else. She's so excited she can't speak anymore. Now all this couple has to do, is plan out their days, buy tickets and reservations, and wait for the day. They already have most of the money for the trip. So yes Rhiannon you will be spending this year's anniversary in a 1912 bed and breakfast by the ocean, and treated like royalty for three days being spoiled and seeing many of the things you and Uriel love. Uriel says I hope you enjoy this trip, and this can bring more romance back into our lives having some time alone together away from our normal common life. I love you to the moon and back and more. All you have to do is relax and enjoy.